What's going on over here? Hey guys, behave yourself over there. Come on, what's going on here? Behave, ducks. They're chasing each other over there. Hey, how's it going? Tell your duck friend to chill out over there. Behave himself. He needs to chill out. He needs to chill out. Huh? Well, topic of the message. I saw them. I saw they, they were quack arguing over there. And they was moving their neck at each other. It's so weird. Watch ducks argue and argued and then the other duck chased the other duck to the other side. Oh, we got a cat over here. Interesting. What is a cat doing over here? Oh, he's hiding. He ain't trying to catch no duck, is he? <clears throat> Interesting animals you see over here. A cat, black cat. That's with ducks. All right, topic of the message. It's meditating, meditating, meditate. You know, um, people, you know, we, we, we live in a world, <coughs> good man. We live in a world that is, you know, that doesn't, that, see, watch this. It's one thing to live, uh, like, you know, God, Second Corinthians 4 4 says, The God of this world blind the minds of men. The world system is catered for, I mean, is made for blindness. It's, it's, uh, the way it's designed, influencing, you know, uh, negative and bad things towards people. It's on an agenda to blind people you know spiritually blind people you know it's on an agenda why i'm talking right now someone is listening to a radio or listening to the television looking at a television hearing something and they have our position to be blind you know spiritually blind by an idea concerning a world system that's all about influencing lies and the thing is, people, I don't think, understand to what extent how that's not good. You know what I'm saying? That, that is not good that we have a world system that is influencing people, uh, a lot of negativity out there to uh, blind people. I mean, it is created to blind people. And... It's just sad uh, how people are not, not aware of it at all. How many people that are not aware of it and the tragedies that come behind it, you know, and so many bad situations that happen to a lot of people. People are not aware to what extent this system is blindfolding them. A, a lot of people, spiritually blindfolding people. And it's like, and all of a sudden, when the results come, when the results of how many people being blind folded in this world that makes the foolish blind decisions, we like, what, what, what happened? What, what, what just happened? What was this? You know? And everybody's like, you know, bad tragedy happened. And here's what makes this ideal blindfolded so terrible: it's a tragedy, a bad, horrific tragedy can happen to somebody close to our friends and family and around us and we were like oh well yes people will oh well bad tragedies you know what I'm saying oh well it happened so uh, sad for this person sad for the, these people oh well move on you know what I'm saying and then we'll ignore the conditions of this world system and how bad that it is, you know? And it's just sad and how continuously it's getting more bad that, you know, people are not, I mean, so much people are suffering their own demise concerning the lies. But the topic of the message I wanna talk about 
really is, you know, I mean, bad awareness, you know, the spiritual darkness awareness, you know, is just that how aware we are about the negativity that's going on. All right. Oh. Huh? What do you say? Oh. Uh, I hope I hope you can find one. I, I can't get Bibles everywhere, so I'll see what I can do. Okay. <laughs> Cute. Um, the thing is, uh, we we need to be more aware about our um our uh, situations that you know around us. You know, we we sit. We want to. It's we want to ignore. See, it's like look, when we sin, there's a consequences. And you know the and you know the it, now we know the consequences of a bad, you know, uh thing happened to someone. But what about the consequences of we don't care that it happened and we're going to continue to go our direction and we're just going to ignore that situation i mean the what we know how that situation has come accumulated because certain you know things that happened bad towards people came from a accumulation of negative activity you know and we you know ignore that it that's or more likely the romans 6 and 23 is the wages of sin is death you know and we know we know this we look at the bad outcome or the bad situation or the bad results that happen and we know because i was doing this and because i was doing that that's what proceeded from out of that situation and we ignore that that what we did and it's like oh well whatever we're going to do this, you know, and, you know, people have been doing this throughout human history and the lack of awareness that is not, you know, uh, you know, being aware. All right, man, be blessed. And they're not being aware of uh, of these things. And, you know, things continue. It, 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 the snowball does not stop. Uh, Float, running, flying, or rolling down a mountain because you know we want we don't want it to be rolling down a mountain. No, something happened, acts happen, things happen that will accumulate it to keep rolling and rolling and getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and boom, it, it's going to hit something, and it's going to hit something that's going to affect either your friends, your family, you. Something's important something around you is going to affect this snowball is going to hit something and that's our the situation the circumstances that are happening in our world we must understand we must understand yeah we must understand we must understand what's really going on in that ideal uh sequence that is happening you know and there's a price this is crazy, y'all. Check this out. My brother. Oh, look who's in there. She's here. She's here. She's here, y'all. She's here. I caught her. I seen her. Look, they're right over there. My brother, and Ursa. Uh, Arius. Arius, huh? My brother and Arius, I caught him. God told God, God, you see how God got navigated that I'm just walking, minding my own business. And I caught my brother and Arius right there. See, they think they can hide from me. Okay, y'all, I'm bothering my brother and Arius. All right, but uh, the thing is, we need to be aware about what's going on and what's happening. That darkness is there and it's devastating a lot of people, a whole lot of people, you know? See, here's the thing what I learned about looking at reality. When you see how bad it is, and it's it's bad, very bad, you will know how much God you're going to need to 
uh, go come against his bad things. See, that's what why you see me doing this all the time. You know, I'm doing this all the time, and I'm doing so much because I see so much bad going on and negativity happening. Satan deceiving people, and Satan, you know, uh, putting people in traps and stealing, killing, and destroying, causing confusion, conflict, and chaos. I see so much of this knowing that it's going to need so much of my performance to come back to counteract what Satan has been doing for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Is what this video that I hope you see that is all about. You see how bad it really is, you know? Seeing how bad things are going on. And when you understand and recognize and know that Bam, I need God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to counteract all of this negativity that's going on in this world system. You Now you want to read the Bible. Now you want to pray more. Now you want to uh, uh, fast more. Now you want to fellowship with believers more and more. Now you want to do whatever it takes for you to be in a position to help help uh, what's going to be a part of God's divine plan to come against the darkness that is happening and, and bad things are going on in this world to be about shining the marvelous light that it talks about in 2 Corinthians 4 and 5, I believe, um, that we're supposed to shine the marvelous light to, to those in darkness. You will, be, you will aim to be more like a light. You will aim to be Matthew 5, 16. So let your light shine bright to all men. So you can please the Father in heaven, you know. You will aim to shine bright when you see how dark this world is and you see the results of what darkness is doing to a lot of people and a lot of people. And you're like, I, I need to be on the, about doing this so I can counteract what's going on in this world system because I see a lot of victims. We are were victims and you got family and friends are victims. A lot of people are victims of the, you know, darkness and what darkness are, what darkness has been doing to people for a long time. You know what I'm saying? You see it, the negativity, you see the demise. Now you want to participate in something that is going to counteract what's going on in this world system. And that's what the whole idea is about, being about the kingdom of God. Really, that's what it's being about. Kingdom of God is really going against Satan. But this church system is about, you know, trying to, you know, somewhat, to me, it looked like they're trying to keep their life. They're trying to establish this uh, lifestyle, you know, be about their school, be about their job, be about whatever they're doing, and, uh, and be about an individual. Instead of, you know, coming together and, you know, following in what the scripture says and 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 sit and deny ourselves and, and and take our cross and follow us and eliminate ourselves to illuminate us to become together to come against the kingdom of darkness is what's supposed to be the response of people of the kingdom of, of God if you you eliminate you're not here to build no reputation you're not here to be famous you're not here to be some you know, special in the eyes of people. You came here to, you know, become one with this kingdom of God to uh, defeat the kingdom of darkness. It's what's supposed to be the outcome and the results of of if you truly about the kingdom of God. You know what I'm saying? Not to be all, you know, big time and famous in the eyes of men, but to join the Lord's army is ready to bring destruction to the kingdom of darkness. It's, if you're truly about the kingdom of God. But the thing is, it, bad things are going to continue happening when you don't understand that ideal aspect of being about God. So you need to truly be about God to uh, uh, reveal the reality of the truth and stop, you know, being about the lies of the enemy. And that's the message. God be the glory. Here and forever and ever in Jesus' name, amen.